So when I get back, I get my old cell back. And about two, three days later, an individual rolls up from Cork and Shoe. And uh, he rolls up with a with a with a one time. A one time is a is a little note, shit like that, right? Well, I'm not gonna divulge any, but anyways, I end up stabbing the individual in my cell. Right? Uh, same day. I end up stabbing the motherfucker. I end up stabbing him. And uh, we go at it. We 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 f- we fucking go at it. He, I got stabbed almost thirty-two times, and I took I, I took one of his lungs out. He had to have a, a actually one of his lungs cut out, so I, he's actually on one lung right now. So, but he he stabbed you thirty-two times. We stabbed, yeah, going in the process, yeah, because he was process. he was yeah, you're, you're you're yeah, he strapped yeah, I gave him one, and um, but we're in a we're in a cell, right? Because I'm not like that, you know. what I mean, you gotta go, you gotta go. I'll give you a fighting chance, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so you gave him a strap. I gave him a strap. Yeah, I gave him a strap. I placed one on the, on the on the thing. I just sat down, and 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 there's no beating around the bush. There's no fighting. You know, there's no like fucking, like oh, we're gonna do it this way. Nah, just hey dog, you got something coming on. Me. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it really, you know, I'm scared because I, I any, any human being's scared. If you're not scared, then you ain't fucking human, bro. You ain't got no fucking emotions. You know what I'm saying? I got butterflies. I don't know how this fucking. Is. I don't know if I'm gonna get killed in the process. I just know that I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do because that's what matters. And you see what I'm saying? Like your reputation builds because of this type of shit. So uh, he's sitting right here. We're on the bottom bunk. I got the bottom bunk. So we're actually sitting like this. And he's probably sitting right here, like next to me. He's toward my head bed. I put the, granted, I got my shit in my hand. I'm right-handed, but I have it in my left. And um, I have his and I put his in the middle. And he just looks at me like with a with a blank stare. And and he's like, for real? Like that's a natural reaction. I've heard plenty of stories home tell me that similar situations where it's just like, damn, this is really happening. You gotta ask yourself, like, fuck for real? Like I really gotta like I really gotta do this. And uh when he after he said for real, like I just I, I maybe it was like peripheral or just some type of instinct. I felt like he was gonna go for the knife. So when he went for the knife, I grabbed him by his shoulder and I just I chugged it in like I slammed it as hard as I could with my left hand into him. And it caught him, it caught him on his collarbone. It went in and it caught him on his collarbone. And that he rushed me. But when he rushed me, he picked up the fucking knife. So he has me against the back of the cell door, right? And we're trying to be quiet. You're trying to kill this motherfucker in, in silence. Okay. You're not trying to be loud. Oh, uh, uh. You're not trying to do all that because you draw attention. You see what I'm saying? Like they're still walking and people can still hear, you know, and shit like that. So you're trying to kill this. You're trying to do all these. Crazy ass battle shit in fucking silence. But not oh sorry, bro. No, you're good, bro. We're not making a I just don't want that to fall. Oh, yeah. Go we're ahead, not making a, a move, right? So, anyways, uh, uh we're wrapped up like this, and he's he fucking hit me in the back. And I'm I'm hitting, I'm 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 trying to get him in the side. Well, I, I finally switch and I push him off me, and he goes towards the back of the cell. By this time, I'm I'm fucking I'm leaking. We're both leaking, right? I gave him an ice pick, right? And I I, I had a cool little little piece. And uh, I push him back, and he falls in the cells. You got a desk and a seat, so he falls like this onto the desk. And I and I remember I grabbed the the knife with both hands, and I just I went like that, bam, and I came down. And it, and to hear like I don't know if you ever heard a chest bone crack, but it's it's a lot of force. So, and at the same time he's put he he's he's he grabbed me. He's already got my hands because I'm like this. And it, 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 it was like in the fucking movies, bro. Like in the fucking, you're like this, you're like, and I'm trying to fucking push. And I can I, I feel it, but it, it's a rudimentary knife. You guys got to understand, this ain't like a fucking knife at a kitchen where it's just going to go in. Like more often than not, an inmate won't die from a, a prison assault with a knife. And this is very well made. Like it's a manufactured weapon. So I'm pushing and I could, I could hear it. And finally, when I know when I hit, I know when I hit the bone, because he, he, he fucking screamed like a bloody murder scream. Like, like it was just the worst, and it kind of caught me up. It kind of caught me, and I was like, "Fuck!" But to say he's catching because it's all—I think he's in shock. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going down like that, and finally, I, I, it just—it was like butter, all the way just in, and that food just passed out like that. I'm like, "Fuck!" And I get up right at this time. The the fucking the COs are walking. They're doing they're doing fucking count time. We've been going at it probably for about almost I say 15, 16 minutes. And if you're going into it in a closed space in the cell, that's a long fucking time of just yeah. like wrestling, trying to get the fucking knife, trying not to get stabbed, all that shit, right? So when I do this, this dude's laid out, right? And I I pull the knife out. He's like, 
fucking giant hole in his chest. Can this story get you? No, no, because it's already documented. I it's got documented. 15 for it, all that shit. Okay. Yeah, so that's the only reason why I'm telling you. I've always been told only tell the stories that come out on 115s. Yeah. So you got, you. they could actually go. Like if anybody wants to research it, they could go on CDC. If they could get my file, they could see the motherfucking story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you're telling the story, my boy, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, I don't want you to. I mean, no, no, it's good, it's good. It's so, already, it's already documented. Yeah, it's already it's documented. Something. So one fifteen, I got a one disciplinary report for it. Yeah. So, anyways, we go to the back. I get out. Um, we get out. I go to the hospital, right? Because he pops my lung. Oh no! Trip, 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 <laughs> trip. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this was laid out, right? So the cops come, they get me. Well, this was not unconscious, right? Or, or he just miraculously wakes up, and he gets a fucking. I'm getting handcuffed, right? I, I think this was, this was like. I think he's gone, right? I'm fucking sweating bullets. I'm like, fuck. I'm about to face live, like the trial, all this shit, right? So there's a fucking, <laughs> I don't know where it was, but I'm going to say it was probably on the locker. There was a fucking big pin, right? And I got the scar to prove it right here. I'm getting handcuffed. And the the, 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 the fucking hood is like, don't fucking move. So he has my handcuffs. Well, this motherfucker jumps up and he lunges at me with this big pin. Like, bullshit, you know, it hit me right here. And it went in like probably a half an inch. Right on on the lower chest bone, and it stuck, and it filled up with blood. It was it was like so fucking crazy that the the plastic clear tube immediately just shot up with blood, like it was like it was a syringe. And I'm just standing there like, what the fuck? And I'm like tripping <laughs> out. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, what? And I'm like, damn. And I can't move. Right. And I'm like, oh, are you motherfucker? Right. And I'm thinking like, all right. And I'm like, shit. And I'm like, all right, all right. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I'm thinking all this in my head. Right. So I start panicking. So they, they break the door down. They they handcuff us. He ends up fucking just like, like not fame, but he's like gas. He's done. He's like, fuck. All right. That was his last like hoorah. Yeah, that was his hoorah. But he got you. Motherfucker got me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker got me. So anyways, um, they take me out, right? And I'm trying to walk out of the block. When, you know, walk out. IGI stops me. And right when I get down the stairs, I feel it. I can't breathe. I'm like, <laughs> I'm short of breath. I'm like, okay. In my head, I'm processing. Maybe it's the adrenaline. Maybe the adrenaline is just so fucking high that I'm I'm, I'm short of breath. I'm like, <gasps> I can't breathe. And, and the nurse is like, "Yo, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm cool, man. I'm just overexcited." And, and the more I'm walking, the more I feel myself getting weaker. And I'm like, "Fuck, fuck." So when I get to the fucking outside of the block, IGI is right there. They're like, "Oh, this motherfucker, right?" And he kicks me, right? He kicks me in my fucking leg, right? And I, I, I go against the thing, and I'm like, "You know what?" I tell her, "I can't breathe. I can't breathe, right?" So she's like, what do you mean? And and they lift up my shirt. And sure enough, I got a, uh, I got an air pocket. He hit my lung. Yeah. Right? So they're like, oh, my God. Right? So they call for, for the fucking thing. Well, they called the, the helicopter for this dude. Because this dude, granted, I'm taking intake now. This dude's still in the cell. They're working on this motherfucker. They got they got the EMTs, uh, the, the, the fucking uh, uh, the goddamn ambulance drove up onto the yard. All this shit, right? So I get to the thing. They take me to the hospital. I got a punk lung, right? They, they cut me open. They, they shove a fucking big ass tube in there with a little thing to suck out all the blood. This dude is probably two hospital rooms down from me. They got two COs strapped up on me, my legs handcuffed, right? And I'm about three, four days in there because I got to heal. So this is about February, uh, February 4th. Yeah, this happened on Super Bowl, on Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm in the hospital. So about February 8th, I go to the hole. They give me my, um, uh, lock up order, attempted murder on an inmate, and then they also give me a validation packet, right? So IGI comes and serves me with a with an associate uh, validation packet for for a prison gang. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, cool. You know, they ask for my lock up order. I'm good, right? Um, I go through that for probably about six months. It takes about three months for me to get validated for them to prove the points, uh, direct links, all that bullshit, right? So finally, I get validated. About six months, they put me on endorsement for the day. Right. So during this time of the six months, an additional riot happens on the main line. Right. I'm in the hole now. I'm slammed down what we call slammed down. Right. So back in the day when you got validated, it was an administrative segregation. It was a, an administrative call. So you were a security to the institution, any institution. So you automatically went to the hole based yeah. on your influence or shit like But a bunch of people were getting validated. So it was just like, you know, we we're all getting slammed down. It was like warehousing. 